Hey there, Karen here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and I hope that you enjoy today's video. We're going to be doing some listening and speaking practice today and hopefully you've watched this video where I talk about the schwa sound because I'm going to be talking about this sound again in today's video. So in the first part of this video, we're going to be doing our usual listening practice exercise. I'll play the file four times as per usual, twice at the normal speed, and then another two times at a slightly slower speed. And I'd like you to try and write down what you hear. There are two men in today's conversation, and I don't think that they say anything too difficult today, or I hope not, because I want to focus more on speaking practice today. But I still wanted to get a bit of listening practice in. And I also wanted to mention that one of the guys today mentions a girl's name, Bianca. Okay, let's get started. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. I think the first sentence is the hardest to understand. And it's also the longest sentence in today's conversation. And he says it quite quickly. He said or asked, do you know what we were talking about last night? Do you know what we were talking about last night? But he didn't say, do you know? He said, do you know? So he shortened do to just d, and he also shortened you to y with the schwa sound. So this became, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what we were talking about last night? Do you know what we were talking about last night? The next word is what, but he doesn't really make the t sound at the end of what. He stops himself just before he makes the t sound. So this becomes what, 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 we were. He says this really fast and we, he doesn't drag out the E sound. He doesn't spend much time saying the E sound. So he doesn't say we, he says we and were. I've mentioned this a few times in previous videos. Australians don't tend to say the letter R at the end of words. So this just becomes were. Do you know what we were? Do you know what we were? Do you know what we were? Talking. I've also talked about this in previous videos. It's quite common to change the ing sound to the n sound. So the schwa sound and then the n sound. So going changes to going. Doing changes to doing. So here he changes talking to talking and about. Like with what that we talked about earlier, he doesn't really say the t sound here. So this becomes about, about, about. Do you know what we were talking about? Do you know what we were talking about? Do you know what we were talking about? Last night, last, we tend to say this with the R sound, last. We don't say last like the Americans, 
last. And here, the two words last night, the t sound at the end of both words isn't really said. So this becomes last night, last night, last night. Let's say this whole question a few times together. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Do you know what we were talking about last night? Do you know what we were talking about last night? Do you know what we were talking about last night? And then the second guy says, uh huh. Uh huh. This is just a way of writing the sound that people make when they're saying yes to something or when they're agreeing to something. Have you finished writing your essay? Uh-huh. Yes, I have. Have you washed the dishes? Uh-huh. Yes, I have. Did you get my message? Uh-huh. Yes, I did. This has a casual feel to it, so you'll hear it more often between family and friends. And I also like to use this when I'm talking to someone to let them know that I'm still listening to them so that they can continue telling their story. Uh -huh. And then the first guy replies with, forget about it. Forget about it. Here, we've got consonant sounds next to vowel sounds. So this tends to be said as one long word. And here, the t sound at the end of forget and about actually sounds like it's somewhere between a D and a T. And the T sound at the end of it isn't really said. He stops himself just before he makes the T sound. So this whole thing becomes forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. And then the second guy asks, so you're not going to tell Bianca? So you're not going to tell Bianca. So the O sound here changes to the schwa sound. And this tends to happen to a lot of small words when they're spoken, which is why they're much harder to hear. And your, the OR sound here also changes to the schwa sound. And both of these words are said very quickly. And they both have the schwa sound, so they're not stressed. And then the word not. Again, the t sound isn't really said here. He stops himself just before he makes the t sound. So this whole thing becomes, so you're not. So you're not. So you're not. And gonna. Gonna is just the way that we write going to when it's spoken. Now remember that this is informal, so don't write this if you're writing something for work or school. It's okay to use this in text messages with family or friends, but don't use this if you're writing an essay or a report, for example. So this whole question becomes, so you're not going to tell Bianca? 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 And the last sentence was, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Again, he doesn't really say the t sound at the end of it. He stops himself just before he makes the t sound. And he doesn't even try to say the t sound at the end of didn't. So this becomes it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So let's practice saying the whole conversation a few times. I'll say it once at a slightly slower speed and then I'll say it again at a more natural speed. 
and then I'd like you to say it a few more times again with them at the slightly slower speed. Okay, let's go. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. Do you know what we were talking about last night? Uh Uh-huh. Forget about it. So you're not going to tell Bianca? It didn't happen. If you found this video useful, then I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps to let me know that you like these types of videos, so then I can make more of them for you. And please share this video with friends who are also learning English, who you think might find this video useful too. Thank you for watching today. Keep practicing, stay safe out there, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.